Today I'm gonna show you how to make RCD trip time tester without using any microcontroller. RCD is an electric device that using to protect the human life against electric shock. When somebody gets shocked, this device disconnects the mains voltage immediately. However, there are some delay time between the moment that the human gets shocked and the moment that the RCD disconnects the mains voltage. This delay time so called RCD trip time. It could be few milliseconds up to 300 milliseconds. Depends on the RCD type and leakage current value. We can measure in the delay time by using RCD trap time tester. But the problem here that they are so expensive. So I try to make my own for low cost. This is my circuit. This circuit consists of 1 kHz oscillator, 7 segment counter and some few other components. By pushing this button, some leakage current start to flow in from the live wire to the earth through this resistor. So some AC voltage drop across it. This voltage run in the optocoupler and switched on the transistor. So the transistor hooked up the oscillator to the counter. And the counter start to count in delay time in millisecond. But it stop counting when the RCD trip. Because there are no any more voltage across this resistor to keep the transistor on. So this 7 segment display show you how long the RCD takes to react to any leakage current. The value of this resistor depends on how much leakage current you need for your test. In the RCD test procedure, we usually use in three different leakage currents. We have to test it with leakage current of 50%, 100% and 500% of its nominal sensitivity. Let's say we have an RCD with sensitivity of 30 milliamp. So we have to test it with 15 milliamp, 30 milliamp and 150 milliamp of leakage current. You can calculate the value of this resistor by using ohms law. For example, for 30 milliamp leakage current you need 7.5 kilo ohm resistor. I converted this circuit to PCB and ordered it from PCBWay.com. After a few months I received my package. Then I soldered the components on the PCB. Instead of using a single resistor, I used four of them with different value and I can switch between them by using the switch. To select the proper leakage current depends on your RCD type. I designed it to be 1 mA, 6 mA, 30 mA and 100 mA. But as I said before, you can change them to any other value you want by changing the value of these resistors. I designed a plastic enclosure for this project and print it by using my 3D printer. And finally it's time to test. I switched on this circuit, connect it to the mains voltage and select 30 mA of leakage current because my RCD type is 30 mA. By pushing the test button, the RCD trip and this circuit calculate the trip time. As you can see, the trip time in my case is 37 millisecond. I pressed the reset button and also reset the RCD and test it again. This time the reading number is 39 millisecond. And one more time, 34 millisecond. So according to this table, my RCD working well. Now let's try in 100 milliamp of leakage current. This time the RCD trip in 19 millisecond. And one more time, 20 millisecond. By 6 milliamp of leakage current, the RCD does not trip. Instead of plugging the enclosure to the socket, we can use a cord wire. You can order this circuit from PCBWay.com. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.